Hey there, and welcome back to another From the Workshop Nerd Note with your host, me, this guy with a thumb, and another one, Brandon Hart. We are here in the Nimblelink Nerd Lair because I just have to tell you about a cool and exciting development here from the Nimblelink Engineering team. This is your standard fare Skywire modem. There are a lot of different members of the Skywire modem family. They all pretty much look the same. Um, they all have the same form factor with the standard Skywire interface uh, and a module on a board. No applications processor, no software, anything like that. Um, and that's kind of how things have been for a while. But would you believe it if I told you that there are actually two Skywires here right now? <laughs> yeah, check this out. Bam! That's right. This little guy, you may have to zoom in even more because he's so small. This little guy is the Skywire Nano. This is a brand new Skywire, brand new type of Skywire really from uh, Nimblelink. And uh, I had to tell you about it because it opens up a whole new range of possibilities for what you can do with a Skywire modem. So first let's cover the basics. Um, first off, this is a fully global Skywire modem. It supports LTEM and NB1 and NB2 capabilities uh, on pretty much all of the world's uh, low power, wide area networking, um, 3GPP style networks. Um, it also includes on the backside here, an MFF2 form factor. Um, that's a chip SIM, not to be confused with an eSIM. This is a chip SIM um, and it is uh, tied to Verizon's network. Um, if you want to use it, this modem with a different network, there's only so much real estate on the board. So we make the external um, SIM interface available through this uh, connector right here. So the pins are external, they go onto your design and you can then incorporate whatever kind of SIM slot you might want into it. Um, so in addition to that, this is of course a fully end device certified embedded modem, just like all of the other Skywire modems. So no need for additional testing and certifications once you incorporate the modem into your design. So those are the basics. But what makes this different besides, you know, it's small, it's tiny, it's called the Skywire Nano. Um, not only is it small in size, it's also small in power consumption. This thing just sips electricity. It is extremely, extremely low power. Check out the data sheets on the website and you can see exactly what I mean by that. Um, but for your low power applications, this thing's gonna be awesome. But not only is it small um, and, and low power, this thing actually is quite a little powerhouse. It has its own applications processor built into it as well. So you can run your actual application code on the Skywire Nano in addition to just using it as a communications device, which makes it pretty cool. So uh, run your code, read the sensors, all that kind of stuff. At a minimum though, the onboard software is going to control certain functions. Things like firmware over the air updates for the module, uh, or also known as FOTA. We've covered that in other videos. Check those out down below. Um, other things that it'll cover is things like data retry timers and stuff that the carriers want you to comply with in order to make sure that your devices are not abusing the network. So that kind of stuff is already built into this. It's baked in functionality. You can then build on top of that and not have to worry about those things so much. Um, you may have noticed the connector on the back. It's quite a bit different from a standard Skywire interface. There are a lot more pins here and we're providing interfaces for all your applications to be able to access uh, different sensors and, and interfaces by way of SPY and I squared C and a UART built into here. Um, so you should be able to do just about anything you want with it. So that's really I, just a quick overview of what the new Skywire Nano is. If you want more information about that, certainly hit us up, workshop at nimblelink.com uh, or go to nimblelink.com and check out the data sheets on the website. Um, please do like and subscribe to these videos so you don't miss the next one. Leave your comments down below and until next time, have fun building. <laughs>